Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Today, let's talk about storyboard view and groups. One really nice feature of Captivate is that you can group slides together and move them around. Let me show you how. Let's say slides two. I'll do a control click and another control click to select slides two, three, and four. Now, I want to group these so I can move them together and keep them together. So I could say create. That's going to create a new group. So there is our new group of slides. Let's say I want to move these here because that's the position we want. Now, from here, I can right click. If I want to see all the slides again, I can go into group and I can say expand. So now I see all my slides again the way we had them. But let's say we don't want to expand that uh, and we want to move it again. I can go back to group and I can actually collapse it. There's my group again. Uh, I want to put it back where it was because that's that was actually the right place. So again, I can go back to group. I can remove the group. That gets rid of the grouping and our slides are expanded. So those are really simple ways to move groups of slides together. You can expand the group, collapse the group, a great way to keep things organized. And if you have a very large Captivate piece, which I don't recommend anyway, but if you did, it's very easy to move sections around, especially if you realize things aren't quite in the right place. Uh, a real simple way to do that. Well, that's it. Grouping in Storyboard View uh, for Captivate Quick Tips. I am Rick Zanotti. Thanks for listening and subscribing.